Hi friends of Cocktails, our Italian summer continues. We are back home, but our visit to the Veneto region made me think of a perfect way to cool down in the summer. Desgropino. We already made one zero waste version of Desgropino last year, using Prosecco, gin and watermelon rinds sorbet. It was delicious. This year I had some elderflowers left over from making a homemade and cheaper Saint Germain liqueur. So I thought, why not make elderflower sorbet? And since we are making it Italian, we'll add some Italicos bergamot liqueur right in the survey. With that, we'll make an elderflowers gropino. That would be the perfect thing to try this summer. At the end of the video, an idea how to use elderflower throughout the year. If you make it to the bottom of the glass, let me know. But first, let's make this gropino. It's cocktail time. Sgrupino is a hybrid of cocktail and dessert and it's often served after meals in Venice. The name comes from a vernacular word meaning to untie, because it is believed that it will relax your stomach after a heavy meal. It's also delicious and super simple to make, with three readily available ingredients and no need for any barware. I'm using a mixing glass, but you can make it in a bowl as well. Simply combine two large scoops of lemon sorbet, three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils of vodka and three ounces or 90 ml of Prosecco. This can be added in segments. Whisk until the sorbet and liquids melt into a velvety frozen blend. Pour the fluffy concoction into the cocktail glass. And that's it. For garnish, you can add a mint leaf, but that's optional as well. Serve after dinner on warm nights to channel Italy with each sip. This cold, delicious treat perfectly combines lively lemon, creamy indulgence and sparkling refreshment. The best part is you can make a batch of this and place it in the freezer, ready to go whenever you want to savor its icy smoothness. With the classic covered, we can move on to making the Elderflora Italicus Scropino. You'll only need two ingredients, Prosecco and our homemade sorbet, and maybe some Elderflora for garnish, but that's optional. Here's how I made this wonderful sorbet. To start, you'll need Elderflora, water, white grapefruit juice, lemon, peel and juice, Italicus, sugar, xanthan gum and a pinch of salt. Make sure the ice cream maker bowl is already in the freezer, as per the product instructions. Start by removing stems from elderflowers. We are looking for elderflowers that are bright white and haven't turned brown yet. We shot this episode when elderflower was still in season for the homemade Saint Germain episode. Bookmark this recipe for next year's end of spring. Elderflowers have a rich history of culinary and medicinal use, dating back centuries due to their pleasant sweet and floral aroma and their believed health benefits. For our sorbet, I need 20 grams of the elderflowers right into our blender. I'll then cover them with 300 grams of hot water. While it's the elderberries that have to be cooked before eating, we are giving the elderflowers a quick steam as well, just in case. Once this cools down a bit, add the citrus ingredients, starting with lemon peel, 4 grams, and then lemon juice, 60 grams. You'll probably need 2 lemons, or just use lemon super juice. In that case, you don't need to add the peel separate. Next, white grapefruit juice, 40 grams. If it's hard to find, pink grapefruit would work as well. Blend these ingredients for about 20 seconds before we filter out the solid particles through a fine strainer and the cheesecloth. Then we add the rest of the ingredients, starting with 120 ml or 4 oz of Italicus Rosolio di Bergamotto. This is a light, sweet and floral aperitivo made with bergamot, citrons and floral varieties all from Italy. Next, for the right sweetness of our sorbet, 130 grams of sugar. For proper texture, I'm adding xanthan gum. Remember, sorbet doesn't have any dairy products, so no milk or cream. The last ingredient is 0.2 grams of salt to enhance all the flavors. Blend this mixture again to mix and dissolve everything. Quick taste test, just because I know how delicious it is. Then place it in the fridge to chill for about one hour. Once everything is nice and cold, it's time to assemble the ice cream maker. Pour in our elderflower Italicus mixture and wait until we get the right consistency of our sorbet. The cold temperature of the bowl, the movement and of course time will give us the result we want. I also tried making sorbet with dried elderflowers and fresh elderflower tea. I found that blending fresh elderflowers gives us most flavor, while dried elderflower has a stronger tea-like taste and lacks the summery feel. Once the sorbet is done, Transfer it into a container with a lid and place it in the freezer. The great thing is that since we added alcohol, our sorbet won't completely freeze, but stay nice and creamy, making it easier to scoop it out when we need it. Hmm. Honestly, 
Ellen Floor Italico Sorbet is a wonderful treat on its own, but we are here to make it even better. Let's use it to make the scrupino. Since I'm mixing Prosecco and Sorbet, I'll be using a kitchen scale instead of a jigger to help me measure the right amounts into the mixing glass. Start with 80 grams of our homemade Ellen Floor Italico Sorbet. We'll then gently add 100 grams of Prosecco. I'm again using Fuel Prosecco Dog Extra Dry. To mix it up, I'm going in with a whisk, until we get a homogeneous fluffy mixture. Both ingredients were chilled, and we're pouring our special scrupino into a chilled cup glass, to keep everything cold for longer. For garnish, use an elder flower if you still have some, otherwise a mint leaf works just as fine. I don't know about you, but to me, this looks delicioso. As expected, it's floral in aroma, with elder flower garnish hinting to what you can expect on the flavor. It's fluffy, citrusy and just sweet enough. Italicus and elder flower both beautifully enhance the scrupino, which is a true delight on a hot summer's day. I'm very happy with the result. Once again, we reach the bottom of the glass. To let me know you've made it all the way here, drop a sun emoji in the comments. This week I wanted to share a simple way to use elder flower throughout the summer. Cook it with water, sugar and lemon to create an elder flower cordial. You can even freeze it in ice cubes or small bottles and use it months later. I'll leave a link to a recipe in the description. Making Ellen Flora Cordial is something we always did when I was a kid and it's a great summer drink mixed with sparkling or still water. So next year when Ellen Flora's start blooming, you know what to do and make homemade Saint Germain liqueur while you're at it. I'll see you next week. Cheers, friends of cocktails.